You won't believe this, but you can break free of that sales anxiety that you carry with you every day that you need to make more money, create comfort for your family, make a living doing something as exciting as sales. However, many of you don't see it as exciting. You see it as fearful. You see it as something that has to be done, but it's a pain. And I want to show you how it's not a pain. It's an inspired action to sell something to anyone is an inspired action. And there's three ways that you can look at creating that inspired action and walk away from your anxiety. So when you have inspired action, you have an emotional space to help others get to what it is that they need and they desire. You know how to step out of the way and let the transaction happen in a pleasing manner for everyone. No pushing. So I'm just going to show you today three ways you can set your stuff aside, the stuff you have in your head that's creating anxiety, and let's see where we can take you from there. I'm Marla Kopal, and I help social sellers and direct sellers make an income from their online businesses selling to others. It's that simple. And I have experience in contract sales, real estate sales, insurance sales, and now online marketing and online selling. And I'm not using ads. I'm helping people understand how to get into relationships via messenger, person to person or Zooms so that they can understand what it is that helps people make their choices and that you are simply a person helping people make choices. You sit down, reduce your sales anxiety and make more sales. So first of all, what I want to say is that um, take a minute to think about the words satisfaction and success. What are those two words? How do they play for you? What do they mean? Well, success usually is something that's got a sheet with tick marks on it, with lists of things that you have to do. And you're going to tick them off and you're going to feel you've been successful. Satisfaction is that expectation of a feeling that you get when you do something very, very well, you help others, or there's just this level of emotional reward beyond the monetary award. There's a, there is a level of emotional reward that just takes you in a space that you really can't explain to somebody else, but it's there. So let's talk about how you lose your anxiety because when, you can lose your anxiety if you start looking at the satisfaction you get out of selling as opposed to the success. You don't want to always be making tick marks because every sale is not made the first time. So the platinum rule, I want you to think about this. The platinum rule is when you help others the way they want to be helped. Now think about that for a while. If they have a way they like to receive information, they have a way they like to sit and think and take a while to make their choices, you have to come into alignment with that. So if you're in alignment with yourself to be emotionally supportive of someone making a choice, you'll have the patience to allow them to do their thought process. You can manage your anxiety about, will they decide? Will they decide? What's taking them so long? What's taking them so long? Your anxiety is your enemy. It is not a motivator. It is a deflator. So I want you to think about the platinum rule. Do unto others as they want done unto them. So then you have to think about those scripts that you're learning to do. Do those scripts really help you talk to individuals? No, they're a generic approach to help you feel comfortable as a salesperson. But as you already know, they don't work. They blow up. They offend people. People get angry with you and they want to call you pushy. And you feel pushy like you've been pushy. So what you want to do is, is think of how do you get into this inspired action? Well, step one is to apply the platinum rule. Do unto them, do unto them as they want to be done unto and then you will find the various things about them that are going to allow you to align with them. So let's just talk a little more deeply about this. Pace. People have different paces in their life. They're more methodical 
or they're very, very quick with their decisions. Well, if you have a very methodical, thoughtful person and you're a fast paced person, you need to slow down. When you match that person, you come into alignment with them. They won't feel hurried and you're treating them like they want to be treated. If your buyer is a fast paced decision maker and you're more methodical, you're going to have to pace and step it up here to to help them get what they need because they're making urgent decisions, but they could be making them too quickly. So at the point they think they're ready to make a decision, you're going to qualify with this person, all the things you've talked about and are they still in agreement with that? See, these people sometimes think so fast, they forget the details. So when you're into giving people satisfaction, you yourself will be satisfied and sales can always be made. I've had people, creating 20 and 30% improved closure rates on their sales by just being in the satisfaction space as opposed to the success space. Now, step two is don't take action. You don't take action, approach, or open a conversation unless you're aligned with your personal values. So if your personal values are service and you're trying to use a script someone gave you or your upline is bugging you to hurry up and produce and get more, well, your personal values may not play into that because you might like to give people time to think. You might have good approaches where even though you gave them time to think, you say, but let's make sure you don't leave it too long because it sounds like you really need this. You get them encouraged to make that next appointment with you before you get them off the phone or let them get off the phone. And then you're going to find yourself in a position of supporting them, aligning with their values, but still aligning with your personal values, which is I'm going to help someone. I'm going to provide solutions. I'm here to help. So when people don't even know that they're getting in their own way, you're still there to help them find a solution. And you know what? These other people who are just counting numbers, looking at quotas, they're not necessarily going to be in alignment with your frame of mind. And I can tell you when I was in the corporate world and I was selling in a cubicle, you know, and I'd already been selling 25 years before I did that. I could have managers hang over the cube and tell me that I wasn't going through the call fast enough or whatever. But you know, I was top sales because I did it my way. I did my personal values. I believed I was in service and I wanted satisfaction, not only for myself, but for the customer. So that's an interesting mindset to get into. You work into it, it takes exercises, but that's what I help people with. And third, I've already really covered it, but don't let that expectation of someone else and what they say is success, take you out of momentum for your inspired action. Because your inspired action is actually your consistent tool, your consistent tool to provide consistent results. See, all human beings are different and they want to be treated differently. So your job is to get into relationship with each person, let them be unique in how they make decisions. And you know what? After a number of years, like I have, you'll notice there's patterns and they each have a different name, but you're going to find out that it gets very, very easy to sell and to lose your anxiety because you're just going to meet behavior after behavior that has very similar, a lot of similarities, but it's going to have a different name. It's going to be a different person. It's going to be a different gender. But those buying behaviors that your customer and buyer have, they've been around for a long time. So what you want to do is step out of the way and you've got to manage that anxiety until you've stepped out of the way enough to allow people to reveal themselves to you. And then you understand how they make their choices. And then you'll be able to provide solutions for them according to how they see things, hear things, feel things, and desire things. So if that sounds unusual, but something you want to try on, I invite you to hook, hit that subscribe button and then you can look in the description for more um, offers that I have and ways that you can also follow me.